An ink blot of isolated islands, located 1,030 kilometers from the United States, barely rising above the waves of the otherwise landless surroundings, Bermuda is an exquisite semi-tropical paradise in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. At 53.3 square kilometers, Bermuda's world-class hotels and restaurants, exquisite pink sand beaches, and more golf courses than fast food outlets add to the charm of this island. But Bermuda is not just an idyllic vacation destination. It's an international focal point for financial services. Throughout history, the Bermuda government and the business community have worked together seamlessly to create a place that combines appropriate regulation, intellectual talent, state-of-the-art infrastructure and capital to attract and grow business. As the offshore domicile of many foreign companies, Bermuda has a highly developed international business economy. It's a financial exporter of financial services, primarily insurance, reinsurance, investment funds and special purpose vehicles. Finance and international business now constitute the largest sector of Bermuda's economy. Bermuda's story is an interesting one. We used to be known for the sun and the sea and the scenic beauty. We still have the beauty in terms of the island, but it, the business pleasure ratio has shifted so that now we come top of mind really more for financial services and tourism as opposed to just the beauty. And I think that has been because over the last few decades, we've really made sure that we have sought to improve our enabling environment in terms of legislation, and also we have a good quality of service providers. The island has for long been regarded as an exceptionally well-regulated jurisdiction. Its progressive regulation regime, efficient tax structure, location, wide availability of experienced service providers and the quality of life that is enjoyed on the island all contribute to making Bermuda a globally competitive, leading offshore centre and robust international business community. The other side of the coin is geography. Uh, this is the only offshore financial centre quite as accessible to uh, New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Atlanta, Miami, daily flights to Bermuda from all of those places. So your people who want to buy this rather specialized product called reinsurance uh, can come in here, spend one night, go around some of the about 25 reinsurance companies. Business Bermuda released an economic impact study in September 2011, assessing the role that Bermuda plays in the US economy and examining Bermuda's presence and economic relationships with Europe and Asia. The report was based on economic data from 2008 through 2010. The survey showed that Bermuda is becoming more prominent relative to the other economies in its trade with the US. The survey reported that the economic relationship between Bermuda and the United States remained strong throughout the global economic and financial crisis. In 2008 and 2009, overall growth in trade and investment remained at 2007 levels, but did not decline. In fact, Bermuda became more prominent relative to the other economies trade with the US. Bermuda is really the hub of business of the business world for the Mid-Atlantic. We are located one and a half hours from New York City, from the eastern seaboard of the United States, Boston, Canada, Toronto, Atlanta, Miami. We are only six hours, six and a half hours from London. But more than location, 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 uh, we have a strong regulatory, regulatory environment. We have a strong legislative history. We go back over 400 years of commercial law uh, in our books. Both geographically and legislatively independent and neutral, Bermuda is an ideal center for international finance, from which 26% of its GDP is derived. Renowned as an exporter of financial services, Bermuda especially acts as a home for insurance and reinsurance companies, investment funds, special purpose vehicles, 
and as a registry for ships and aircrafts. Well, I think Bermuda has uh, been able to establish itself with greater credibility uh, over the last uh, you know, decade or so. Uh, I, I feel proud uh, whenever I'm in an environment where I'm able to speak of the accomplishments of this. Uh, but Bermuda has been lucky over the years to have had a strong banking industry, and that's been important to the growth of the country. So for the last century, two main banks dominated the, the country in, in the banking industry. One was Bank of Butterfield, which was started 150 years ago, and one was Bank of Bermuda. Bermuda is known as the reinsurance capital of the world. Over the past 30 years, the international reinsurance industry in Bermuda has grown in size and complexity. Well, when I look at Bermuda, I really th I think back 30 years uh, to the 80s when uh, the United States went through uh, what's called a, a liability crisis where municipalities, uh, companies, doctors uh, went through a period of time where their clients, their customers, uh, increasingly looked to them for financial uh, compensation when things went wrong. With an insurance market comprising more than a thousand companies, and total assets of $496 billion. Bermuda is regarded as a pioneer and leader in the offshore insurance industry and has the third largest insurance market in the world. Well, in fact, it's critical to the whole story of how Bermuda became so important because if you go back to 1986 when Excel was formed, uh, there was a liability insurance crisis in the United States. They simply couldn't get for major corporations liability insurance. I think that for any insurance company, human capital is very, very important. Um, you're only as good as your people. And, um, and I do think when you, you have a lot of competition out there, being able to track the businesses is key. The growth in the island's financial services sector has demanded that the infrastructure necessary to enable international business activities is advanced. Most business is carried out in Hamilton, the capital, which has seen the construction in recent years of more than 3 million square feet of modern office space. On the asset management side, we're working uh, to bring asset managers to the island. Um, Bermuda has proven itself as a jurisdiction where there's substantial business going on. We're not a brass plate jurisdiction. We're not a jurisdiction where you have a, a, a building with 1,000 companies. We are a jurisdiction where actual work is taking place, where the CEOs are here, the general counsels, the chief financial officers, they're all located here doing actual business. Communications are first class. Cell phone ownership exceeds 100% of the population, with internet connectivity about the same. The Bermuda investment environment provides competitive advantages for certain US businesses striving to compete globally. Because of the type of um, commercial and business environment that is in, in Bermuda, um, it allowed us the unique opportunity to really have access to international products and international market. Bermuda's own competitiveness in the US market is based on a unique set of strategic advantages. Among them, proximity to the US capital markets, UK and US compatible law and regulation, and extensive regulatory cooperation, as well as recognized regulatory quality. Clean streets, immaculate gardens, well-maintained beaches and a reliable police force are some of the other factors that make Bermuda such an attractive place to live and work. Easy access to the rest of the world and all the amenities found in any other first world country give Bermuda the competitive edge in both tourism and as a financial jurisdiction. <laughs>